What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I started my fascination with watches back in 2004. I was watching TV one night and this show called QVC. I started seeing these watches come across the screen and it blowed my mind. Now the name of those watches were Invicta. They looked just like Rolex. And at the time, I could not afford to buy a Rolex. So I thought to myself, it looks like a Rolex. Nobody will really know. Why don't I buy one of those and test it out and see how I like it? So I pulled the trigger. They sent the watch to me. I got the watch. I looked at it. And guys, it looked very similar to how a Rolex would look. So I got the watch size, put it on my wrist, and I started wearing it. And since that first Invicta watch I bought in 2004, that's where my passion for watches started. I quickly decided I wanted to find out more about these watches. Keeping in mind, I couldn't afford a real Rolex like I got in front of me here today or an Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean Deep Black. Couldn't afford any of these at the time. So Invicta at the time was, you know, it was priced right. I think it was about a hundred bucks. Fit and finish on the watch was fantastic. So that's the route I went because I couldn't afford anything more than that. So my journey started with these watches, this whole watch obsession, this whole watch hobby. So I joined a couple of watch forums and I started doing my research and participating on the forums. I quickly started to realize, wow, there are guys on the watch forums that are selling these high-end watches like Rolex, Omega, Breitling, Panerai, IWC, AP, Patek Philippe. These guys were selling these high-end watches on these watch forms. And I was thinking, well, man, how do these guys do this? You know, I can't, let alone, I can't even really afford to, to buy a Rolex. How are these guys flipping Rolexes? So I continued to do my research. I continued to kind of study what they were doing on the watch forums. And I decided, why not give it a shot? You know, I'm saving this money so that I can purchase me a Rolex one of these days. But in order to help me get to that point, maybe I should try and flip watches like these guys are doing. Now guys, I didn't know very much about it at the time. Like I said, I had been doing some research. I, I was participating on the watch forums and uh, things were going pretty well. I enjoyed it, it was a good hobby, but I really didn't know if I could do what these guys were doing. So ultimately it came down to me just making a decision to try it. So I went out, started looking for a watch that I could afford, and at the time my budget was about a thousand bucks. So I started messing around and found a Tag Heuer. So I purchased that Tag Heuer, went back to the watch for them to kind of see how these guys post their photos, what type of description they put in for to describe the watch, what type of payment methods do they require, and how people can get questions answered if they want to. So I follow the same format these guys had in their for sale posts on the watch forums. I listed the watch for sale on eBay. I also listed the watch for sale in the watch forums. Couple weeks go by, finally sold the watch on eBay for $1,100. I bought the watch for $1,000. I successfully sold it for $1,100. Validated that there is a market out there where you can purchase pre-owned watches and then enjoy them if you want, wear them, and then when you're ready to move on to another watch or do something different, you can put that watch up for sale and, and recoup your money back and make a little bit of profit. So that's how I started off. I started doing that. And then over time, I was able to put together enough money to buy my very first Rolex watch. And once I bought my Rolex watch, I even stepped my game up a little bit further with the watch sales. I said, you know, now that I put myself in a position where I've made some money through flipping watches whereby I could buy my own Rolex, why don't I start buying more watches, buying more Rolex, buying more Panerai, Omega, Breitling, and why don't I have a little inventory of those and I can just sell them online? So that's where luxury watch sales began. 
I initially used the credit card in order to buy myself about four watches, one Rolex, an Omega, a Breitling, and a Panerai, and I put those watches on eBay for sale. I also put them on the watch forums for sale. And I started just doing that, and I did that consistently. At the peak, I would probably have 20 watches in inventory. And I'm talking about high-end watches, guys. The thing that I learned through this process of buying and selling watches online is you gotta be able to purchase the watch at a deep enough discount and make some profit off of it. You gotta buy it right. So the number one thing I do is, is I have multiple venues that I buy my watches on. I mean, I buy them through gray market retailers online. You know, I buy them from individuals online through the watch forums and through eBay. I also go locally here in the area I live in and I visit authorized dealers and develop relationships with those authorized dealers to be able to get on their list so when these special watches come in or if they have a special offer, they call me as one of their preferred uh, customers. I also frequent you know, estate shops, um, high-end pawn shops, and develop relationships with these people. Because whether you want to believe it or not, these estate shops and these pawn shops, they see a lot of these types of watches. Because what will happen is if people fall on hard times, they just don't have the patience or the time to be able to take pictures of a watch and put it on eBay or put it in the watch forums. No, they need cash right now. So a lot of times these people will go down to their local pawn shop or estate shop and offer their watch for sale because they need the cash. And so a guy like me who can go develop relationships with some of these local brick and mortar uh, retailers like these pawn shops and these estate shops, if they know who I am and they know that I'm in the business of paying them a fair price, for a luxury watch, then I'm one of the first people that they call. And oftentimes, guys, I get great deals on watches because of that. The next thing for me I had to figure out as it related to remarketing these watches online was, you know, where would I sell them at? You know, who, who would be my customer? And for me, it was eBay and it was the watch forums. Those were my two main places I would remarket my watches and, and had great success, especially on eBay. You gotta understand, you know, eBay is a platform that's global. Not just people here in the United States, it's people all over the world that have access to your inventory or your product or service, whatever it is. You, you have a global market using eBay. So that was the main platform I used in order to market my, or remarket my watches that uh, that I wanted to resell. Those are the two things, guys, you, you'll need to figure out. You'll need, need to figure out how do I buy these watches at a deep enough discount so that when I'm ready to sell it, ready to move on from it, I can do that and make a profit. And then the second thing is, is where do I sell these watches at? And I know some of you guys are just trying to find a way to supplement or create additional income. And I would tell you, look at your hobbies. Look at your passion figure out if there's a way for you to create an income stream out of that hobby or out of that passion like I did with, 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 with my watch passion. Um, dig into that. Find out if that avenue exists for you. If it doesn't, pick up a hobby that you can do that with. I mean, it's not, there's nothing wrong with having more than one hobby or more than one passion. Well, all right, guys. I just want to say thank you for checking this video out. I hope it was helpful. I hope it answers some questions around what I do and what my passion is for watches. And I hope you guys figure out what your passions are and see if you can monetize them. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, and give me a thumbs up. It helps the channel and it helps me too. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. If you want two free stocks, click on the link in the description box of the video, and Weeble is going to give you two free stocks when you open up a Weeble brokerage account, deposit at least $100 in that brokerage account. Guys, you're going to get two free stocks, and they're going to be valued up to $1,850. 
So if you want that free money, click on that Webull link, open up your new brokerage account today. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.